Arizona is one of only a dozen states that allocates not even a single dollar of state funds to help local districts identify and serve gifted learners. Gifted education was funded in Arizona for over 20 years, but in 2010 it was defunded due to fiscal budget cuts and the subsequent recession. Gifted in a lot of district is, districts is something that is expendable. So if we don't have the money for it, then we begin cutting in gifted. There are almost 90,000 gifted students in Arizona who rely on special programming to meet their needs. And the stigma surrounding gifted children makes it harder to compete with other programs for funding. By saying that gifted kids don't need help because they'll succeed on their own is terribly short-sighted and mistaken. And in fact, they're the group that's uh, least likely to make annual yearly progress in any given year, and that's because they've typically mastered anywhere between 50 to 80 percent of the standards or the curriculum that, that's going to be taught. So they need teachers who understand that they have to go deeper into that cu curriculum, accelerate that curriculum because they need less time, less exposure with new concepts. These are kids that just think and learn differently. And by and large, there are many of our students that are now underachieving that do feel disconnected over time because you can imagine if you think and learn one way and how you access instruction or, or, or curriculum or assessment is totally different, you can imagine how over time that could lead to that student becoming disconnected and disengaged. Kids in gifted programs value the unique attention they receive from educators. I think it's helped to motivate me a lot actually because I know like especially Towards the end of elementary school, I had some trouble like really staying on my feet and going in the right direction. But it was, it was actually middle school with the, the DLC and the gifted stuff there that I really, like the teachers there were really supportive and they really helped me kind of go in the right direction, find, find where I needed to be. She tends to rise to whatever the watermark is. And so if she hadn't been in gifted, she probably would not have pushed herself to that academic level. I think she would have just stayed wherever, whatever the highest mark of the class she was in. Sophia Tesh's daughter goes to a school where gifted programs were cut. A lot of times at school they have her doing little extra things for other students or for the school, you know, like, like kind of working for the school in a way, which is okay but I mean it's it's more like I'm like but she should be learning like this is she this is where she's supposed to learn to her highest potential. The Arizona Department of Education recently gave the governor a budget that proposes a return to gifted funding. Gifted children should be funded just like every other child that needs a little bit of special attention whether it's um, enrichment or whether it's um, an intervention, both sides of the spectrum should be able to have their needs met. And that's part of, the, again, the promise of education in America.